Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I have my Alex Adores for the month of June. Now June sped by really really quickly and June was also my birthday month. So my first favorite and thing that I adored the most for June was my birthday trip to Exuma. Um, I'm going to put the link right here so you guys can see the vlog. I do have a vlog channel so you guys can see the vlog from my birthday trip to Exuma. And I'm still in the Bahamas for a little bit for vacation so I just wanted to show you guys that. And I'm going to move on to the beauty day. Now this first item I want to share with you guys is just hands down something that I thought was a gimmick. And I thought it was really, really gimmicky and nothing that would stand out, but it's amazing. It is the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki. This is the large one with the, it looks like a triangle when you look at it from this end. And as you can see, it's kind of dirty because I've been using it. And what I like about it the most is that it helps your foundation to glide on quickly and smoothly like those are the two things that are really important when it comes to any type of foundation brush and I think this is an amazing amazing uh, in, you know innovation from Sigma it literally like how it has the triangle and it literally any scoop or part of your face that you know is kind of tight or you seem to always miss foundation this gets in there and it busts it out flawlessly um, it also has like the flat end of it so it really sits on any type of curve that you actually have on your face and see how around my cheeks are it really fits in there and it really really takes care of smoothing out and buffing out the foundation so no problems there it doesn't eat my foundation either like i know sometimes like a boogie brushes can eat your foundation and make your foundation like run out really quick this doesn't do that um at all so it doesn't hold on to the foundation in terms of soaking it up and causing you to use more product than you need to so the next thing up that i want to talk about it and i'm really really sad I love this but I'm sad because I ran out of it like today, like putting on my makeup today, I just ran out. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this one I have is in Amande. You guys have seen me use this a million times in my tutorials and I love this concealer so much under the eyes. It's really, really creamy. I have yet to use it, you know, on my face and stuff, but under the eyes, I love this stuff. It does not crease on me, it doesn't move and it blends out so seamlessly, especially when I use a beauty blender. This works amazing with a beauty blender. So if you have not tried the NARS Radiant Creamy concealers you need to they have a doe foot applicator so it's really easy and I'm really sad because I just ran out of this oh I'm gonna lose my mind um, because now I have to get a new one another favorite that I have been wearing and I know the people with the rules for the summer makeup and the spring makeup are gonna be like I don't even know why you're wearing this lippy but I've been loving it and I'm so glad that it came back it is studded kiss by MAC. This is the MAC Studded Kiss Lipstick. This is a matte lipstick formula and what I love the most about Studded Kiss is wearing it right now. It's like that, mm, that ruby deep red. It's so beautiful and yes it's folly but I think it's perfect for some especially if you want a sultry look. Oh this is just, just beautiful. Um, what I love about it too is long wearing. It, it kind of stains the lips so that's my biggest thing so it stays all day love this color as you can see I'm wearing it right now and it's not clashing with my peach what is this what even color is this this orangey peach shirt it's fine it's beautiful so makeup forever's mist and fix is another item that I've been really loving this one is an O2 skin complex and what I love about it is that it mattifies my face but it still makes my skin look skin like I sprayed it on my face today and my skin still looks you know a little bit glowy a little bit skin like this is amazing for setting your makeup what I do is once I set my face with powder I spritz this just to take away any powdery look but it still looks matte it doesn't shine me up or anything it dries down really really matte and I love this this is the baby version of it I believe there's a bigger version of it but I always like to try the smaller versions just in case I don't like it and I don't feel like I wasted my money and have to finish the entire bottle but yeah Makeup Forever is a mist and fix. If you're looking for a nice makeup setting spray that's mattifying, this one's going to do it for you. So another spray, facial spray, that I've been loving that I thought was overhyped, but it's actually really, really good and lives up to that hype, it is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Now I know you guys are like, Alex, this is a small bottle, what are you doing? Again, before I go ahead and splurge on anything, I always look for the smaller bottle or set to make sure that I'm going to get my money's worth or that I don't feel bad that I spend a ton of money. Now what I love about this thing here, I sprayed on before my makeup, and what I feel it does is that it gives your makeup a really nice base to sit on and a base that's gonna actually allow it to move, if that makes sense. And it really preps the skin 
for your makeup for that day. Um, pore wise and all that stuff, I don't think it does anything with those, but I like the fact that it's you know oil free and alcohol free, it doesn't burn, and it makes my makeup look flawless. Tried it today again, and I'm about here on the bottom, so it doesn't even like spit out the product, it really mists it, so it lasts for a really long time. So I found this in Sephora's. Oh, what's that you know the checkout lane that they get you before you leave one of those so if you're looking for this I'd say go look in there for this if you want to try the smaller version before you get the big one but I love this on the skin um, I think this is perfect for summer to make your skin you know look really natural in terms of before the makeup goes on so if you've got dry spots and stuff this is gonna take care of all of that before you even go ahead and put your foundation on another makeup item that I recently hauled and I have fallen in love with this is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. This is a translucent loose setting powder. But what I love about it the most is that it's not really white. It's, it actually has a tint to it. Like, you guys can probably see that, like a yellow, but it's not really yellow. Like, there's a beige type tint to it. And what I love about it is that it makes my under eyes look amazing. Like, my under eyes don't look cakey or anything like that. This is also the tiny version. <laughs> this is also the tiny version. This is not the full size. The full size is really, really big, you guys. But um, I love this powder. I've actually used it to set my whole face, and my face was amazing. I didn't get like flashbacks or anything like that. Like, this is actually a really, really nice powder. But so far, I've been really loving it for the under eye area because it really smooths that area out. It's not um, a thick, type of gritty powder it's really nicely finely milled almost feels like velvet between your fingers and on your skin it's really really light so if you use this as an all over setting powder I think it's going to be amazing just don't overdo it with any powder don't over powder but you know this looks amazing all over the skin and just gorgeous underneath the eyes now these other two items I think fall into my skincare favorites it's only two of them and the first one I want to share with you guys is from Caudalie this is their instant detox mask and this is, I don't think this is a full size for this. This is the 0.84 fluid ounce. I got this in a set, I believe, after the holidays or something. Yeah, I think the last VIB sale after that, I got this in a set. But let me tell you, what I love about this is that it basically detoxes the skin, but it doesn't make the skin feel dry afterwards. My skin actually feels moisturized after using this. This is more of the, you know, the dry down clay type of mask, but it's not that drying clay. It's really, really moisturizing. It does wonders for my pores. My skin looks really baby-like and soft-like after I've used this. So there is a full size of this. Um, so yeah, if you want a really, really deep cleaning mask to detox the skin and get rid of any gunk that's in there, I'd say give the Caudalie uh, Instant Detox Mask a try. And the final favorite for the month of June that I was adoring and loving the most and something that I was doing because I wanted to make sure my nails were okay, these are the Nature's Bounty Hair, Skin and Nails Gummies. Love these. This is my second bottle. and. I can tell you that this works for my nails, but I can't say it does anything for my hair and my skin because I hadn't really seen a difference in my hair and my skin was basically the same, basically the same. Nothing really changed except my nails love this because I wore, I do wear acrylics, artificial nails, and I take these to help make sure that my nails are really healthy and stay healthy under the acrylic. Because people think that, you know, once you put on acrylic, oh, the nails are, you know, they're fine. But you still have to make sure that your nails are, you know, healthy and all that stuff underneath the acrylic. When I take my acrylic off, my nails are flawless. Like, they're not soft and breaking apart or anything like that. Um, before I started these, my nails would be... I wouldn't say they, they would peel basically and I was like I have to find something to help them while I wear the acrylic because my nails need to be on fleek and this helped my nails so so much even after I took the acrylic off my nails kept growing out and growing out and growing out so that's always awesome and even after my acrylic hasn't been on for I think it's been a month now that I've been acrylic free um, that's gonna change real soon but I just wanted to give my nails a break and see them for a little bit and wear them short you know for the summer because you know you don't know what you're gonna be doing for the summer so I was like I'll just take them off but I'll stop rambling but this is awesome I found mine at CVS this also has biotin in it and it says it has antioxidants vitamin C and E so you always need vitamin C and vitamin E you know to take care of your skin and your body and stuff like that so really 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 love these 
So my final thing that I've been loving is my gold hoop earrings. These are $5 hoop earrings from Icing, which is to me, Claire's big sister. Um, I love these because they don't touch my shoulders, which is also good, and they go with anything. So I've been rocking these out the entire month of June. They go with all my stuff. I've been doing the bun life for the whole month of June, and they just go really, really good with my buns. So I was really, really, really excited to get these, and I've been wearing these out. If you don't own a pair of hoops, I would say go and get you some cheap hoops before you go and invest in some, you know, hundred, two hundred dollar. Uh, gold hoop earrings because I've been known to lose these so that's why you guys used to see me wear the little nubs and stuff and not so much hoops because I lose them <laughs> but at five dollars it's fine so all right you guys that is it for my Alex Adores for the month of June as always if you have tried any of these things let me know down in the comment section what you think about them and I can't wait to share with you guys my favorites for the month of July all right you guys thanks so much for watching and subscribing if you have bye